This full moon in Virgo kind of marks the passage of time, an astrological event where we are considering, at the very least, walking away from a situation that we have invested a lot of time, energy, effort, patience, unconditional love towards because it's not nourishing us in return. There is no hope left in this situation. There are no opportunities to entertain. Nothing is keeping us tethered here except for this unfulfilled wish. So more than likely, we are packing up our things from a specific space and moving on. This could be a mindset that is no longer serving you, a set of false beliefs that you thought up until this point were true, but have never brought any positive shifts into your life. Could be a workplace dynamic, could be your city of residence. It could be a relationship that you have been killing yourself trying to make work. The sun is in Pisces, which talks about the collective unconscious. Our beliefs are being projected onto a white screen before us. And we can see what fears have led us to stay in the situation past its expiration date. This could be, I suspect, Pisces, five degrees, first decant, that if we move away from this situation, there might be a series of quote unquote bad emotions that we don't want to face or we don't have the tools to cope with. There will suddenly be this enormous void that we could get sucked into. And so the initiation is to accept that that's where you're at, but also accept the reality of the situation and trust in the light of the moon, literally in the eight of cups card, the, the, the picture, the illustration, the person is turning their back on this fruitless situation and facing the, the, the light of the moon, which says trusting in your own instincts, your own abilities. You will collect the tools that you need along the way. You will have every drive, every motivation to find something to help you make sense of your steps moving forward and how to regulate yourself in the absence of something that was comfortable, but also toxic. Because the moon is in Virgo, we are looking for hard, cold data. Give me the facts. And it's almost like as we're looking for the facts, they become the reasons or the fuel that we choose to pull the trigger and carry on with this dream that we are trying to release, but also like coming up with a new dream <laughs> and needing to figure out the details of it. Both Pisces and Virgo in the first decan, the first 10 degrees, have something in common. And there's also Saturn right next to the sun. So Saturn is all in the business. Saturn rules the first decan of Pisces. I know I'm speaking a lot of astrology right now, but for those of you who know the lingo, the Saturnian quality is heavy, which says that we need to position ourselves on the outskirts of town, quote unquote, solitude, be by yourself. Oh, wow. You know, this thing is falling apart, but I see that I was born with a gift. God gave me something and I've been sleeping on my potential to turn this into a lifestyle or to make this my next best opportunity. And so in order to work on that craft, we have to say no to distraction. There is some kind of monotony or boredom, learning how to be bored that is built into this configuration. Yes, we are working on a skill, but that skill is working on us. The greatest, the, the most broadest perspective that I could bring this back to, because that's where my brain goes, is self-mastery. That is the name of the game right now. Love is not making yourself feel good. It's not putting yourself in positions where we're just kind of pacifying a much greater feeling or trying to silence this overwhelming truth that is telling us to move in a different direction. Love is an action. And so you ask yourself right now, because you're gonna have to wrestle through a lot of really mucky, it feels like muddy emotions. <laughs> like we're stuck, it's wet, it's like ugh. You're going to have to ask yourself, what does love look like for me in this situation? Is love staying here even though I'm more comfortable, even though I can kind of make do with the demons that are here, even though there's no gold carrot, there's no reward for my efforts? Or does love look like I deserve better, I want more, and I have confidence in my ability to seek out the answers along the way. Although, I might be terrified. I might be afraid of abandonment. 
Abandonment was chosen specifically by my brain because at the same time, Chiron, the planet that represents like a collective wound, is conjunct the North Node, which is kind of like fate unexplored in the sky. It, it's a blessing. And both of those, um, both of those, what is the word I'm thinking of? Both of those points in the sky are currently in Aries, which is about survival, abandonment. At, at the lowest expression, it is you are left to your own devices, make do. Anyone with strong Aries energy, they'll give you the impression that they're constantly in fight or flight mode. And it's not because they haven't evolved past that. For some of us, well, I'm gonna go on a tangent if I keep doing that. The lower expression of this energy is you're fearful of loneliness, isolation, moving independently, and so we stay in the same spot. The higher expression is we see the call to action, we do what we need to do, and we tend to that wound, that inner child dialogue that says, I'm not going to survive, I'm not going to make it, I need to reach out for help as much as possible. Every situation is going to be different. For some people, you may actually need the support of a community, of a group, of a therapist, a life coach, an astrologist. Pick, pick whatever support system that you want, but we're all being dealt the same card of, do you know how to stand independently for the right cause under the right circumstances are you genuinely a leader of your life or are you buckling to some kind of like monster or fear that lives inside of you um the themes that are happening because it's pisces and virgo it's the axes of service i don't want to be a servant anymore is what we're saying i don't want to be a, a servant to <clears throat> a particular community a workplace a mindset a relationship it's done, it's over. I want to be of service. We are acknowledging that we are community made and we have something to offer, but we keep offering it to situations and people who are committed to continuing <laughs> to take the poison. It's like you're trying to heal someone who is committed to being sick. And that could fall in, you know, so many people can embody that. You can be embodying that in your life. So Pisces is in intuition empathy, feeling things, not being able to verbalize them, being of service. Transitions are also really big. The idea that when we move away from this location or this headspace, we're going to have to become someone new. And so we're taking the layers off and the attachments that we have to who we are currently are probably like the biggest hurdle that we'll have to climb. We love the previous parts of ourselves. They got us to where we are today. And at the same time, we are being nudged and encouraged to become somebody better and somebody new, uh, probably in a new environment. Virgo is practicality, health, and wellness. And because the moon is the unconscious mind, things that we are acting out, not knowing that we're acting out, says that there is some drive towards being healthier. You might be thinking about going on a diet or exercising more, or maybe what is uh, encouraging you to change things up is you cannot be your best self here. Like purifying the mind, purifying the body, wanting to wipe everything clean and begin again is also something that wouldn't surprise me. Pattern recognition is Virgo's strength. So as you're moving through all these thoughts and feelings, you're more likely to identify the loops, the habits, the cycles that you willingly enlist in. And because on a very super psychoanalytic mathematical level, this is kind of a, an, an initiation of full moon where it's like, get off the ride or you're going on for another cycle yet again. It's, it's one of those moments where if you do not make the change that you want to make, you will surely tell the universe sign me up again let's rock and roll with it so this is immediately what comes to my mind if you liked what you saw then please hit the like button if you want to work with me you can find me at wellandrising.com forward slash services toodles